When I started out as an actor, I felt protected by my union. I also felt a partnership in the projects I worked on. The work I did was fairly compensated with residuals that paid my bills. Work was always challenging but enjoyable. I had a guarantee that increased with every film, TV job I did. A guarantee was universally accepted for those who worked regularly but were not celebrities. Blue collar actors were respected as part of the creative collaborative process. A trend was being established though. With each three year contract cycle, although incredible gains were claimed, our contracts were becoming weaker and weaker. Now veteran actors are forced to accept minimum scale contracts. Instead of negotiating in a good faith partnership for fair contracts, protections, and benefits, the team of expert lawyers bully us in the negotiating room, forcing us to give up financial gains for things like safer turnaround hours or protocols for vulnerable performers in sex scenes. Many of our contract needs have not been updated since the 1960s. The established protocol in the room is itemizing every desired change and an attacky back and forth for every single ask there is a give. This has led us to giving up on even asking for certain important changes or leaving entire groups within our union out of negotiations completely. We've also fallen behind on key fundamental benefits and protections. Kicking them down the road, cycle after cycle, decade after decade, these building blocks of our union have been consistently eroding away, further weakening our union. Now is the perfect time to turn this around. Nobody's even allowed to go back to work till who knows when. We have to do better. We can do better. Vote no on this contract. Let our negotiators go back to the table and get a better deal. Our future, your future, depends on it.